some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Annapolis, Maryland with Taco Boy Terry. Right after he was released from jail from his most recent escapade. Oh, the poor boy had trouble getting home. He had no money for a cab, and he couldn't rely on his mother to come and pick him up. Well, that's what happens when you act like a total ass all the time. And he's also crying about the police keeping three of his recording devices. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Oh, go cry me a river, you moron. You pressed your luck and you paid the price. At any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, uh, yeah, what's up, baby? What's up, baby? Hey, we made it. What's up? Alrighty, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? So, uh, yeah, we just made it home from lockup down there in Calvert County. What a fucking experience that was. So, yeah. Damn, I didn't think there was going to be people even online right now. 3080 y'all in here. I appreciate everybody coming out to show you boys some love. Yeah, 38 people came out to show you some love after they probably laughed at you for going to jail. But knowing how frauditors are, um, arrest records are like badges of honor. Although I can't figure out why, because it's certainly not going to get you anywhere in life. Yeah, that was just like a very weird scenario earlier. So... I had basically went there to drop off a, uh, I had made up a letter of intent to sue. I typed it all up. The gentleman, John E. McCulley had ultimately sent YouTube some sort of like legal documentation saying he was going to file a lawsuit on me for, uh, like providing his private information that his identity was private, which it isn't. So he basically filed false, uh, legal documentation or claims. So I went down there to drop off a letter of intent to sue so that I could uh, inform them of my intentions. I basically made some demands in the letter, and it wasn't for any monetary value. It was just to have him rescind his false uh, claim on my video. Yeah, sure. It's not about the money. So you're not concerned about lost revenue due to a privacy complaint, huh? Yeah, and if you believe that, you'll probably believe that the moon is made of cheese. And that would be it. Like, I didn't have any issues. It wasn't for a monetary value. So, whatever. The guy got mad. Champ came out to take the piece of paper. Came out with Dr. Someone just said his name. What the fuck was it? Polsky? Polsky? Yeah, whatever. He came out and was like, you're not allowed to be videotaping here. And I was like, okay, well, why wouldn't I? This is a public lobby. And he reached out and grabbed my camera. So I pulled it back and I'm like, yo, don't, whoa, don't touch my camera. Don't touch my property. That's an extension of my body. And if you taught me again, I will have to defend myself. Well, he turns to the lady and he's like, hey, call 911. Call 911. Look, my hair's all fucked up. He's like, look, my hair's all fucked up. He's like, call 911. Call 911. I'm like, Call 911 for what? You just assaulted me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Call 911. Absolutely. So they call 911 and play the victim. And like the cops get there. Actually, before they'd even like been able to talk to somebody, a cop walks in the door and is like, yeah, what's up? I saw you walking across the street with your cameras. Uh, you, you, you match the description in this photo that I have. Okay, so I match you. Well, I, I didn't really get a good look at you. I didn't get a 100% look at your face. But but you matched the photo on the screen. Well, hold on now. You just said that you didn't even get a good look at me. But you're saying that I matched the description enough that you turned around in traffic and followed me into this building, got out of your car and came in here thinking I was somebody with the last name Moore. So I'm like, horrible you're already like so far off whatever anyway i explained to him what happened other officers show up it just kind of became this big ordeal and i kept saying like look dog i'm literally here to drop off this piece of paper like it's a very simple uh exchange i wasn't there to do an audit i cry i should have at this point but i wasn't there to walk around the whole building with a camera i was just there to film myself dropping off this legal documentation i was then going to go to the county attorney and do the same thing over there and yeah dude came out grabbed my shit called police played victim and then had them arrest me hey taco boy we all watched that video we all know that you're lying all you had to do was drop that paper off and leave that's 
all you had to do. But you turned it into something that it shouldn't have been. And then you turned around and went back in and caused more trouble. So don't feed us those lines of garbage and expect us to buy it. I actually, they accepted my documentation at one point and I left, but then I forgot, oh man, I didn't get that guy's information. So I went back to get it. What's funny is when I get down to the commissioner and they release me on my own recognizance, I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, listen, man, I had actually intended on coming down here and filing some charges. So what, what, what all information do I need? Can I just come down here and uh, tell you somebody's last name and their title as a doctor and that just be good enough with their work address? And the commissioner was like, no, you need a first and last name and an approximate age, like at least a general age. And I'm like, OK, because that's kind of what I said. And they told me no. And it's like the commissioner can't be like, oh, well, obviously he's not going to be like, the police are fucking wrong. Nah, 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 nah. And he was just like, yeah, that's the information that you need if you want to file some charges on somebody. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's kind of what I said and why I'm in this situation. So, yeah, I wasn't wrong. Literally, I needed that information. No, what you need is a new brain. Because for whatever reason, the one that you have currently isn't functioning properly. And here's what I mean. At the age of 31, you should be attempting to build your life instead of acting like a damn child. In fact, you should be thinking more about your future than thinking about ways to get yourself arrested all the time. Because later on down the line, you're going to look back at this and you are going to regret everything you've done. Assuming your brain develops properly from this point on i have a legal right to that information they should have went not deed him and given me his first and last name and his birth date if they want me to use the jail as his at or at the health department as his address that's fine i'll send the certified mail there but it doesn't matter i still need his first name his first name isn't doctor that is a title that he People are going to say he earned it, this, that, and the third. Like in the medical community and stuff, they can respect him as doctor, but that's just a title. Like his title doesn't give him authority over me. It doesn't give him the ability to come out and put his hands on me. And it doesn't make him any fucking better than I am. It just means that he paid money and went to fucking school. He's not even like a doctor at the hospital. He's the fucking health director for the county. And it's like, we all know how ignorant those people were over the last two years. So, as I'm sitting there, I'm telling him, like, dog, I'm not feeling good. I'm getting real lightheaded. Like, I don't feel good at all. My wrists are being fucking uh, cramped down. Let me tell you something, you ignorant little punk. He may have paid for an education, yes. That may not make it better than you. But I will tell you this. The more educated you get, the more you begin to realize that you don't know everything. But ignorant little punks like you who don't have an education that is even worth a damn tend to think that they know everything when they know diddly squat. Instead, here it is, 1238, and I'm just getting home. The worst part is they kept both my cameras, my GoPro 10, my GoPro 11, and my cell phone. They have kept all of my equipment in lockup. When I got to the jail and I had to sign for my property, I'm like, you know, the sheet doesn't say anything about any of my property. And they were like, oh yeah, we, uh, we locked your stuff up in the office at the sheriff's department. So that that's it. it it's an evidence lockup. You can't have it back. So literally I'm released in bump fuck nowhere. It's cold as shit, dark as fuck. I don't have any money on me because my wallet's in my car. They take my cell phone, so I can't call for a cab. I can't get an Uber. Uh, I can't call for a ride home. I don't even have GPS to know where the fuck to walk at. It was just like the most unnecessary shit. So literally all my stuff's gone, everything. I have no cameras, no phone, nothing. Well, now, I've got an idea for you, and it's a crazy one, dude. Maybe if you stop acting like a complete jackass, this kind of thing wouldn't happen to you. You wouldn't have your property kept in evidence. You wouldn't be dropped off in the middle of nowhere to find your way back home. And maybe if you had a better attitude, you'd be able to get along with your family members. And you may just be able to inherit the restaurant. 
But no, that chip on your shoulder is just going to continue to nag you for the rest of your life, getting you arrested, and you won't have anything at the end but yourself. And that is truly sad.